Max Verstappen is a name that has become synonymous with excellence in motorsport. Verstappen's ascension to the pinnacle of Formula 1 has been nothing short of meteoric. From his debut in 2015 as the sport's youngest ever driver to his current status as a two-time world champion and one of the most dominant forces on the grid, Verstappen has achieved what many consider to be impossible at such a young age. But what sets Verstappen apart from his peers? What makes him so uniquely talented and one of the fastest on the grid? Let's find out. Right now, no one is operating on Verstappen's level. A third straight championship would cement this as being F1's Verstappen era years, where grandstands of orange-clad Dutch fans revel in the success of a generational talent. And at 25 years old, Verstappen may not even be near his peak. Verstappen's success is not solely due to the car he drives. His record-breaking 15 wins in the previous season, compared to his teammate Sergio Perez's two, demonstrate his exceptional talent. His performance in the Belgian Grand Prix, where he went from 14th to 1st in just 12 laps and won by a margin of 18 seconds, is a testament to his driving ability. To understand what sets Verstappen apart from his competitors, it's necessary to look beyond just the statistics. An exceptional innate ability. From his early days in go-karting to his meteoric rise through the ranks of Formula 1, Verstappen has consistently shown the kind of skill and composure that marks out a true great in the sport. Despite being fast-tracked to F1 at the age of just 17, Verstappen quickly silenced his doubters with a string of impressive performances. His natural talent and car control were evident from his days in go-karting, where he caught the eye of Red Bull's talent scouts. Franz Toss, who was Verstappen's first F1 team boss at Toro Rosso, hailed him as one of the most skilled drivers he's ever worked with, putting him in the same rank as Sebastian Vettel, Red Bull's first junior star, who won four world championships between 2010 and 2013. Toss saw signs of Verstappen's natural talent in go-karting when Red Bull was tracking his progress. Toss said, We saw some of the kart races, how he drove, how he overtook, and how he had everything under control was just fantastic. Toss only got to work with Verstappen for around 18 months. In that time, Verstappen became F1's youngest point scorer in only his second race and recorded a best finish of fourth in Hungary and the United States, a big result for one of the smallest teams on the grid. Four races into his second F1 season, Verstappen was promoted to Red Bull's senior team, replacing the struggling Danny Kvyat. It was a shock move. Teams rarely change drivers mid-season, let alone so early. But Red Bull wanted to get Kvyat out of the spotlight, and more importantly, Verstappen into it. Verstappen's natural talent was again evident from the moment he got his hands on a car capable of fighting for victory. At the Spanish Grand Prix in 2016, Verstappen secured his first race win on debut for Red Bull, fending off some of the biggest names in the sport to become F1's youngest ever winner at just 18 years old. His daring overtakes, perfect pole laps, and incredible ability to recover from sideways slides all came so easily to him. Verstappen's long-serving race engineer, Jean Piero Lambiesi, identifies that ability as the key factor that makes him so quick. Lambiesi is essentially in charge of looking after Verstappen when he's out on track. His voice is the one heard talking to Verstappen on the radio, relaying information about the car and his strategy during a race. Lambiesi said, he has an extremely rare natural talent, an innate feeling for the connection between himself, the car and the road. Max Verstappen's composure and car control in high-pressure situations has made him a force to be reckoned with on the track. A unique driving style. Max Verstappen's ability to push his car to its limits has been the key to his success in Formula 1. Unlike most drivers, who prefer a stable car that can be turned into corners aggressively without sacrificing control, Verstappen is capable of handling a very loose rear end, giving him a pointy front end that allows him to enter corners faster and harder than his opponent. This ability to feel when the car's rear is at the limit before bringing it under control is what sets him apart from other drivers. When asked about Verstappen's driving style, Perez said, we both want a good front end. It's just a question of how stable the rear end can be. Max has been able to cope with a looser rear end. Former Red Bull driver Alex Albon, who spent a season and a half racing alongside Verstappen, struggled to match his level of performance. Albon said, Everything looks natural for him when he's driving. It's a very clean driving style, but I know he's on the limit. 
Verstappen's natural ability to cope with a loose rear end is something that he considers to be natural, saying, I never experienced a fast car which has understeer in my life, in any category. I feel like if people ask me, what's your driving style, I cannot tell you because I always adapt to what I get in the best way possible. Unwavering Consistency The 2022 season saw Verstappen dominate the competition, winning 15 of the 22 races. However, even in the races where he didn't win, Verstappen didn't underperform, and his results were often due to factors outside of his control. In the Bahrain Grand Prix, Verstappen was forced to retire due to a fuel pump issue while battling for the lead. Similarly, in the Australian Grand Prix, another fuel pump issue ended his race, which was set to finish in second place. In the Monaco Grand Prix, a red flag cost him a shot at pole in qualifying, and the nature of the street circuit made overtaking difficult. The British Grand Prix saw Verstappen finish 7th due to debris damaging the floor of his car, while high tyre degradation left him unable to fight Charles Leclerc and Ferrari in the Austrian Grand Prix, resulting in a second place finish. In the Singapore Grand Prix, a team mistake in qualifying meant he started 8th, and on a circuit where overtaking is difficult, he finished 7th. In the Brazilian Grand Prix, a clash with Lewis Hamilton forced an extra pit stop, resulting in a 6th place finish. And despite these setbacks, Verstappen's performance has been consistently impressive. Sergio Perez, his teammate at Red Bull Racing, praised Verstappen's ability to be at the limit for a very long time during a weekend, saying, He's just very complete, he very hardly makes mistakes. While Verstappen's aggressive moves on the track, particularly when battling Hamilton, have sometimes caused controversy, his skill as a driver cannot be denied. He consistently performs at his best, making few mistakes and pushing his car to its limits. It's no surprise then that he's a top contender for the 2023 F1 World Championship. Mental Capacity Formula 1 racing is not just about driving a car at high speed. The driver needs to be able to multitask and manage various aspects of the car and the race. They must make quick decisions, adjust engine modes, brake bias and tyres, and consider strategy options and changing weather conditions. At the same time, they must be aware of the rival drivers around them, all while racing at speeds of up to 220 miles per hour. Verstappen's ability to manage all of these factors is astonishing. Jody Eggington, who was the head of vehicle performance at Toro Rosso when Verstappen joined the team, was impressed by Verstappen's ability to identify how the car felt through certain corners, even if he didn't understand the technical reasons behind it. Eggington said, that's been a good trait with Max and other young drivers, to be able to highlight something even if it's just a comment whilst driving, that's a big standout. This feedback is crucial for unlocking the car's performance, and teams will use practice sessions on Fridays to get the car in a rough setup window. However, it's up to the driver to work with the team to fine-tune all the small elements that can make a significant difference. Even a small tweak worth half a tenth of a second could mean the difference between pole position and fourth place. Verstappen's ability to manage all these factors is a testament to his mental capacity and natural talent. Total Dedication As with all elite sports people, F1 drivers need to be incredibly committed to their craft if they want to be the best. Tost again names Verstappen and Vettel as being the two standout drivers he's worked with in this regard. He said, It's their passion, they live for Formula 1. That's very, very important. People underestimate it, they want to know everything, they live for it. It's something that's been ingrained in Verstappen from a very young age by his father, Jos Verstappen, who raced in F1 in the 1990s and early 2000s. Father and son toured Europe together, dominating the go-kart scene, always working toward F1. For a driver who's been in the spotlight since his mid-teens, Verstappen hasn't let the trappings of life in F1 go to his head. He's not been caught up in any off-track controversies, nor has he seemed to change a huge amount as a person. To him, his focus has always been on simply becoming a better driver. When Verstappen isn't at a race or preparing with the team for a Grand Prix weekend or undertaking his own personal training, he's likely to be sim racing. He has a rig at home that he uses to digitally compete with many of the best sim racers in the world, and while it may not replicate the physical movement of an F1 car, it does help to hone skills such as car control or setup. Verstappen revealed earlier this month he even plans to install a simulator in a new motorhome he'll use to travel around the races in Europe. He said, 
That way I can just keep on driving when I'm back in the evening. I like it, it's my hobby in a way and it just keeps you sharp as well. Verstappen's dedication to the sport is impressive and this is evident by the fantastic results he produces. So what's your thoughts about Max Verstappen's driving skills? Let us know in the comments section down below.